Brad, did you uh, have to introduce yourself to anybody this morning? Yeah, a few extras today. Uh, a few guys I haven't met in a while, so uh, yeah. What is this process like for you when you have this number of guys coming in, especially a guy like Fozo who's coming in for the first time in a long time, haven't seen him in a while? What's, what's that process like for you to get him ready? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I, I saw him way back yeah. in development camp and those things in, in camp. So it's been a while. I know he's had a tremendous year. Um, you know, I believe he got defenseman of the year in the east side there, and there's a lot of good D-men on that side. Uh, their team overachieved. Obviously, he was playing with, uh, you know, one of the – high-end guys in the league and played on a power play. So he had a big responsibility in the team. And I know I watched him real close to World Juniors, too. I thought, uh, you know, he was playing with, with uh, Jurasek there, and they were a great pair together. So uh, looks like a bright future. I know he's super excited about tonight. You know, big jump for him, but uh, he's looking forward to it. And you got him, I saw him run the point on the power play there. And yeah. you got to get these guys up to speed on systems and how you guys are yep. working, right? Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't be that hard. Just, just hockey, right? No, he... Uh, He's got good instincts. You, you watched him just this morning. I just talked with Paz after, and he was playing with a pretty good guy there in Regina. Um, I think Bedard was on the half full, so I think he's, he's got a good idea what, what he wants to do with the puck. And so, but just, again, we only went through a few reps, but you can tell he's, he, he knows what he needs to do up there. Brad, I didn't see Ross Lefik out there this morning. Is, there, is he playing tonight? Is there something Should up be, him? yeah. Can you say why he wasn't in this morning? He just, uh, he's, uh, how do I put it? He's taking care of his body right now. Gotcha. Um, I think with a, with a coach, when you have a first-time player, you try to sort of shelter them. If you've got four first-time players, that goes out the window, right? I mean, can you – do you have to just have to trust them at some point in their first game? Yeah, I, I think so. sheltering went, went a long time ago, really, for a lot of these guys just from where we've been, right? So uh, they're going to play. I mean, there, there's – Got four guys playing their first NHL game tonight, so it's going to be a uh, trial by fire against a pretty good hockey team, and and um, you know, so yeah, they're going to be in some situations. Just looking at numbers, are you going to eleven and seven tonight? Most likely, yep. Hutchin, yep, Hutchin. Good, nice guy.